President Anurag Kumar Adesanya instructs the Attorney General to intervene in addressing allegations and fundamental right cases against law enforcement officers tackling the underworld. This followed a request from security chiefs during a National Security Council meeting where it was revealed that pending cases against officers, particularly from the Special Task Force, hinder anti-underworld operations, prompting the need for urgent action. Actress turned political activist Damita Beratna announces her resignation from the Samagi Jana Balavega and joins the Democratic National Alliance, which is contesting the upcoming general election. Abheratna cited dissatisfaction with SJB leader Sajid Premadasa, claiming he did not uphold her democratic rights after her name was controversially removed from the SJB candidate list for the Ratapura district. SLPP former MP Rohit Abegunwardhana declares he would withdraw from politics and resign from his candidacy in the upcoming elections if allegations regarding seized vehicles are proven against him. Speaking to the media, he denied involvement with the vehicles confiscated by the Candy Criminal Investigation Bureau from his son-in-law's residence, accusing the claims of being a part of a smear campaign. Former MP Uday Gamman Pillai has called for the immediate removal of Ravi Seniviratna from his post as Secretary to the Ministry of Public Security, accusing him of being implicated in reports on the Easter Sunday attacks. Gamman Pillai, citing withheld reports, criticized the government for concealing information and threatened to release documents if the President failed to act. He vowed an impeachment will be brought upon President Anur Kumar Sanayaka if he fails to publicly apologize for concealing these documents. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs reviewed reports that Sri Lanka did not sign a joint letter supporting the UN Secretary General. It confirmed that Sri Lanka expressed its desire to, to be a signatory and reiterated its support for the Palestinian cause. The statement highlighted Sri Lanka's advocacy for Gaza ceasefire, UN humanitarian efforts and the safety of UN personnel. Sri Lanka's inflation rate, measured by the National Consumer Price Index, dropped to minus 0.2% in September 2024 from 1.1% in August. Food inflation also decreased to 0.5% from 2.3%. The NCPI stood at 203.1 in September, marking a 1.0 index point decline. Non-food inflation also fell, with the report indicating reduced spending in the market basket. The Department of Immigration and Immigration begins issuing the new P-Series passports featuring enhanced security measures and navy blue cover. Around 1,100 passports were issued under the one-day service, replacing the exhausted stocks of the Maroon N-Series. The new machine-readable passports offer a refined look and improved safety features. The Supreme Court will review a petition today from the Democratic National Alliance seeking to overturn the rejection of their 1A district nomination paper for the 14th of November parliamentary elections. The petition was filed by the party representative. The court, led by Justice Surasena, Gunaratna and Obesekara, granted time for the Election Commission to provide details. The Election Commission rejects 21,160 postal voting applications out of 759,210 submitted for the 2024 parliamentary election. Commission Chairman R. M. L. Ratnayaka noted that 738,050 applications were accepted, a 25,731 increase from the recent presidential election. Postal ballot paper delivery begins on October 23rd with official ballots released on October 26th. Candidates will receive airtime allocation soon. A post-mortem on the bodies found in a burnt house in Chula revealed that the deceased mother and daughter had their throats slit before being set on fire. Conducted by Specialist Judicial Medical Officer I.A. Milangaratna Banda, the examination determined the cause of death as severe blood loss. The father's post-mortem examination remains ongoing. We lead the web news.